Why don't you kick something out here? Oh, okay, let's see. Uh... Oh, I think I took a snare on that. I'll do it. In a soundproofed room next to his kitchen, Chris Kimball gets his exercise for the day. Kimball makes his living helping others plan for their financial future, but one day, soon after he joined his Rotary Club, an international organization long dedicated to the eradication of polio, Kimball thought about using drums and fellow drummers as instruments of change. Drummers are a special breed of person. But a real drummer, it is something that's built inside of you. You've got this, this energy, and drums are energy, that's what it is. You, you pound on a drum set, you're creating an incredible amount of energy. You don't need amplification, you just, you, you got it right there. When you have that kind of energy coming from that many people with a common goal, it can't help but be exciting. My wife one time was looking at a Guinness World Record book and she found a section that was of interest to her and she thought would be of interest to me and that was the record number of drums being played simultaneously. And I thought, well, it's kind of crazy, but you know what, it just might work. For the first event in February 2003, Kimball and his fellow drummers gathered in an aircraft hangar in Tacoma, Washington and set a new world record. 264 drummers all playing at once. We not only filled the entire 15,000 foot hangar, but we overflowed and filled the parking lot. That year, the drummers raised $22,000, which the World Health Organization says can buy about 40,000 polio vaccinations. And the drummers began to plan for next year, dubbing it Woodstick. We realized we needed something bigger. Well, the only building big enough around here is the Tacoma Dome. Remember, you must sign in. If you're a drummer, sign in at the table and get a number. On a rainy President's Day, the line of cars stretched around the Tacoma Dome and back to Interstate 5. This is Reno. It's cool. My son's been playing drums for two years. It makes me want to play louder since I'm a bigger building. Uh, Tony Coleman arrived, B.B. King's drummer, he's here somewhere. But uh, they may be in the green room, and of course they, they just keep coming and coming. What can you say? Drummers and their drum sets began to cover the floor of the dome with 95,000 square feet to fill. We are going to want to squish in tight so we can fill in as many drummers as possible. them all straight, each drummer was assigned a number. Okay, this is mine, the number 76. The 75 is my father, this is Thomas, and then number 74 is my brother, Tony. Catherine's dad brought the family down from Shoreline, about an hour away. The vibration feels great. Like you say, you just feel it through your bones, and through your whole body, and just really get into the groove of the whole thing. It feels good. Uh, a couple things. First of all, for those of you who are beginning to realize will be a bit loud in here. We do have earplugs. At the Tacoma Dome, to bring everyone together, it's incredible to feel this kind of power coming from these great drummers. Dom Famularo is known in the drum world as the worldwide ambassador of drums, one of a dozen celebrity drummers, including drummers for Billy Joel, Frank Sinatra, B.B. King, and Hart, who came from across the country to support Woodstock. The simple fact is that it's pretty much only drummers that'll do this. You won't get this from other instruments. Drummers, there's a certain vibe, there's a communal feeling, much like the fire department or the police department. They get together as team players just to play. And the passion that they have is evident right now when you see them coming here this early in the morning to play drums. This is huge! <laughs> like herding cats. To break the world record, it can't just be any drum. It has to be a set, a bass, snare, at least one tom-tom, and a hi-hat with cymbals. It must sound a lot like hurricane. That I've never been in one, but this must be what it sounds like. Ronnie Gray drove himself and his kit over the mountains from Yakima, two hours away. It's like motion. You can 
you can sense the motion. Everybody is stationary, but you can feel waves. You can feel the waves. That's pretty cool. After nearly three hours of cacophonous warm-up, the conductor of the Tacoma Symphony, Maestro Harvey Felder, walked to the podium, put on a pair of white conductor gloves, and somehow established order. I have the official watch that I will start when it's time to go. One, two, three. For six whole minutes, the drummers who now covered the floor of one of the largest arenas on the West Coast played their hearts out. The world record was shattered, 502 drummers, nearly twice as many as the year before, helping to raise more than $15,000 for vaccinations, so that more than 26,000 children will never have to suffer from the ravages of polio. But perhaps the most moving moment of the day came before the world record was broken. Alan White, the drummer for the rock mega band Yes, led everyone in a play along of the song Imagine, using the original drum kit the song was recorded on. Somehow it all fit, more than 500 drummers playing together in their own rhythm, imagining an end to polio. This is Todd Pottinger in Tacoma, Washington for the World Vision Report.